we're in the um, new building, kind of standing on the stagey bit just for uh, fun. So there's going to be lots more sermons coming from here in the coming years, not just recorded ones, but real life sermons with actual people in the real building. That'll be fun, won't it? Um, really quick video to just encourage you to watch, uh, to, sorry, to read the book of Titus. Uh, Sunday's kind of little sermon was from Titus. I want to encourage you to, to read some more of Titus. Um, it's only three chapters long, so if you spent half an hour reading it, you'd get through it four or five times and it would really kind of drill it into your head. A couple of pointers. Uh, Titus chapter one is all about elders. Uh, if you were at the members meeting, uh, you'll have heard that um, we as the existing elders um, uh, uh, reminded you, uh, encouraged you, uh, told you that we really need to raise up elders in the church. Uh, and so we asked all, all uh, men in the church to, to consider whether God might be calling them to eldership, to pursue that, to investigate that, to be trained and prepared uh, and nurtured in that. Uh, so uh, men in the, in the church, read Titus chapter one and ask God whether he is calling you to investigate membership, uh, sorry, eldership. Everyone should read Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 2 is all about community, which as you all know is one of our uh, core values, truth, community, culture. Uh, Titus chapter 2 uh, explains uh, some good ways for Christians to love each other, support each other and to make the gospel uh, uh, visible and to adorn the gospel as they do that. Um, it'd be good stuff for us to think through at the moment, isn't it? Good opportunities for us to uh, love each other well, um, spur each other on, teach each other, find new ways to encourage uh, and adorn the gospel. So read Titus chapter 2. Titus chapter 3 is about culture. So um, if Titus chapter 1 is about elders who uh, teach and protect the truth, Titus chapter 2 is about community, Titus chapter 3 is about culture. Uh, chapter 3 verse 2 and verse 8 or 9 uh, speak about uh, the phrase everyone. Uh, and by everyone they mean that the world around us, not people in the church but the people outside the church. Uh, and in Titus chapter 3 Paul is uh, instructing Titus to tell the church how to live well for the good of everyone. Titus chapter 2 paints the picture of a church uh, whose central grasp of the truth shapes them into a community who love each other and to engage their culture with the truth. Uh, particularly uh, end of chapter 2 and end of chapter 3 there are some really gospel heavy verses. Chapter 2 verses 11 to 14 um, talk about how uh, uh, Christ came and how we wait for his second coming uh, and as we wait uh, we uh, uh, seek uh, ways to do good. Talks about how he ransomed us. Chapter 3, verses 3 to 7, uh, speak about the, um, God's kindness to us and giving us uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, so there's some really, really wonderful gospel explanations in Titus that if you just spent a few minutes highlighting or reading or memorizing or just meditating on, they'll do your soul a world of good. As you do that, Titus chapter 3 talks about the washing of renewal by the Holy Spirit. So here's the challenge. Next time you wash your hands, uh, spend 20 seconds or more, preferably 20 seconds, not just singing happy birthday, not even just uh, singing your favorite song or saying the Lord's Prayer. Spend 20 seconds just enjoying the truth of how the Holy Spirit takes the people of God and washes and renews them.